So are you ready for a true war? Tonight are you well, what's gonna come for you? Time I begin the battle on you Nickelodeon. Okay. Bad intro aside. I just watched Game Shakers. And man it was this show terrible. Dare I say it's almost as bad as Nikki Ricky Dicky Don. Almost. And I could stand Dan Schneider's other works. And Redanger, bad but not bad enough. Sam and Cat, I was a fan, okay? Old Shane, the show wasn't that bad. Hey, Carly, I grew up on the show. Breaking Josh, almost never seen. Game Shakers is my limit, and I will now say, Dan Schneider has failed us. Well, he's been failing us like crazy lately, but this was the big gun to his failure. All right, and this is going to be a very, very angry video. I might as well get some pros out of the way. Okay, just like one or two. Kel Mitchell, good actor. Second thing, the background of the studio is fantastic to look at. Like, they created it very well. Now, it's time to get into the crap of the show. And boy, you can clear the next 20 minutes of your time. Or a little less. But, so. Two girls are assigned to do a um, school project together. Do 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 do. Um, they get an F. They make a hit app that the whole world buys. They start a gaming company. Kel Mitchell comes in to stop them. Um, Epic Mal Kel Mitchell becomes a sponsor. And I'll get to the other stuff too. But before you know what you're dealing with, take a minute and think this. Do you think I would hate? Something this much from the gate. Game Shakers fails on so many levels. It is probably one of the worst live action shows I have seen in a long time. So let's start with the plot. They want to teach kids copyright, and they have Mr. Strawman too. Um, basically, if you saw the um. If you've seen the Blue Dog Soda episode of Sam and Cat, you know who their teacher is. He's a police officer, but he's black. And a teacher. And a Mr. Mosby wannabe. So, yeah. Um, let's see here. From here, we have our character. Or, oh. The plot it goes all over the place. Or no, not exactly that. But it's not a very good plot. Okay? It's pretty much the strawman plot the whole way through. Part one. With the one brief subplot of it and one big plot of it. Okay. The story isn't exactly my main problem. And I have many problems with this. But the writing is pretty bad. And I didn't laugh once. And to be quite frank, this and Bunked both do really, really, really raunchy jokes for a kid's show. And it's kind of uncomfortable. And me personally, the scene where um, the dumb blonde was eating the olives, I couldn't look. That's how disgusting that was to me. So, yeah. What else do we have? 
Let's get to the acting. I'd say with the exception of the G's, because to be totally honest, um, Triple G's actor wasn't that bad, but it wasn't really that good either. And I was okay with Haunted Hathaway. That show I didn't find bad, really. Um, and he's always been a un an, a better actor than most or in these shows. But the girls and Hudson. Okay, I don't even remember the girls' names, so I'm gonna call them Sam, Nerd, and the boy, Hudson. Okay. Nerd acting is awful. Seriously, both of the girls have really high-pitched voices, and it's not the actor's fault. It's they're young, and they're being told to play 7th graders, which is a grade I've recently gone through. And I know girls don't have that high of voices, usually. So, what the heck, let's just throw them in and great your ears. Yeah! <laughs> no, honestly, though, it's terrible, that part. Both of the girls' the voice or actors are terrible, and Hudson is probably one of the worst actors I've ever seen. Also, all the generic other characters, same case as the girls. Or, no, not that. More Hudson, like, bad, bad acting. So, with all of these draws, let's talk about the moral. What moral? Oh, you want to have 7th graders dealing with copyright. This is terrible. Okay, the show is on Nickelodeon. It's dealing with copyright when the ne network is already copyright dictator. This is unsalvageable. You've copyright claimed multiple of my videos. Not strikes. I have one for my Rosa Scabbard review, which I deserved the strike on, and I'm sorry. But, man. <sighs> you cannot do this plot, Nickelodeon. You'd think that most kids relate to this. Also, you creep me out. The scene on the subway. Basically, you said that a hobo wanted to be a little, you know, edgy with two 7th grade girls. Now, it's in Brooklyn, so, but isn't your show supposed to give kids a fantasy, not awake them to a reality? I'm just going to finish this up right here. Game Shakers is worth no one's time unless you're curious, which I was. And, by the way, it fails on almost every, every level. So, Game Shakers, what are you going to do about it? Next time, I'm going to tell you. Oh, one that's worse. Bye, guys.